all the way across to Kitto. Now, that dangerous left foot towards Ibasuki. Oh, it's come off the hand of Kaltak, surely. Referee says penalty. He initially pointed to the corner flag for a corner. There wasn't much he could do about it, Brian Kaltak. Ibasuki flicking it up, but it clearly hit the outstretched arm. And now, against Danny Vukovic. To give the home side Adelaide the perfect start in this semi-final first leg. Goodwin it is. And Goodwin drills it into the bottom right-hand corner. And the King of Coopers strikes again. He scored their last three goals. And Adelaide fans couldn't have scripted a better start. In it comes. It's into a good area as well. Kaltak at the back post. Just the wrong side for the Mariners, but he almost made amends there. Well, it was a wonderful delivery, wasn't it? They do work a lot on their intricate little passes on the edge of the box. Look at that from McGarry. Oh, and it's in. Finding space on the edge of the box. And James McGarry, who's found his scoring boots since joining the Mariners from rivals Newcastle midway through the season has scored an all so precious goal here well what a strike that was harvey norman replay will show the ball just gets recycled around and you can see mcgarry drifts inside into the little pocket first touch opens his body second touch bends it into the top corner what a finish that is too much time and space joe gauchy he just stands and watches nothing he can do about that a wonderful finish take a bow James McGarry. Headed clear, Dorigo with a say yes. He hits it. Well struck, floating around towards that bottom corner. Stick here because here's Sammy Silvera now. And it's that attacking quartet that lead the press and also can shoot. Oh, Silvera off the crossbar. Mariners so close to a second. And Cololo. For Silvera, the Mariners spend a lot of time on the training pitch looking to try and find space in these areas. They've done it wonderfully again, surely. Oh, what a save from Gauci to deny Cummings. It's not finished yet, and Cololo can't steer it inside that far post. Brilliant match of football. It could already be 3 2 or 3 3. Ballard, a little swivel, gets past his say yes. And Cololo, early ball for Cummings. He squeezed it through. And the Mariners, having conceded the opening goal after just three minutes, after 37, they lead by two goals to one. And it's their top scorer with his 17th of the season, Jason Cummings. Well, it's been a good battle between Halloran and McGarry, hasn't it? probably one of the highlights of the first half they've been all over the park really but those two really were at it Craig Goodwin's been finding his range that last corner was close as well Warland is a threat Javi Lopez Ibasuki and Craig Goodwin deciding to take matters into his own hands there yeah he went for goal there didn't he he was looking to bend it into that far top corner accelerates look at that we were expecting Irin Kunda's turn of pace. Farrell now in Cololo and Javi Lopez knows he had to make that challenge and did so. And now he releases Goodwin. Blackwood and Irin Kunda are there. The ball to the back post. Irin Kunda saved by Vukovic. And we almost did have that headed goal. <laughs> you ask and he shall deliver, Robbie. Again, it's wonderful football as the ball comes free there from the Mariners Lopez releases quickly out to this man and he has such wonderful vision he lifts it into that far post area and Aaron Kunda with the downward header the little man gets up down strong and it's a good forearm from Danny Vukovic to steer it away from goal and he has just about knocked Jacob Farrell into next week oh Cummings the control from the Socceroo straight back for Madonna. Turns one way, then the other. Irin Kunda now. 
Aaron Kunder against Steele. Aaron Kunder with Goodwin. The cross in, Blackwood's header over the bar. Well, he was always stretching, wasn't he? And as always, a wonderful ball in from Craig Goodwin as we see the changes for the Mariners. But here, it's Aaron Kunder again, just puts it into the path of Craig Goodwin so he can just step onto it and guide it into the danger area. And Blackwood. Three wins out of three this season for the Central Coast Mariners. If they can make it four in a week's time in Gosford, they will be into their first grand final since 2013.